What's going on everybody, Kwaku here, back with another video. Today I wanted to show you all this, the redesigned Microsoft Paint application. It just started going out yesterday as of recording to uh, insiders on the dev channel and so I got access to it last night. So here's the video for today. And uh, another thing I wanted to do was compare it to actually the Windows 8 version because that is essentially what used to be Microsoft Paint in Windows 10 was this version right here we're seeing in Windows 8. So let's take a look at it. So right now we are in the new version and Microsoft says here, it says the redesigned Paint app for Windows 11 is a modern spin on the classic app. You will notice a completely updated UI that matches the new visual design of Windows 11. Paint's new design includes rounded corners, for those of you who love rounded corners, Mica, which is the uh, kind of like the design language, the visual design language, kind of brings see-through elements into Windows. Um, so you can see it's kind of see-through, it kind of bleeds through to the background of the Windows 8.1 window, even though it's on Windows 11, um, and more. So they also say that uh, a prominent change is the newly simplified toolbar with updated designs. So I guess it's it's simplified compared to how it was here. And I'm seeing, yep, resize, crop, and all that stuff. They just kind of organized things a little better and spaced them apart, probably just for more uh, touch friendliness. So overall, it looks good at first glance looking at the comparison between uh, the current, you know, the new design right here and the old design, which I'm test showing you guys via Windows 8.1. Um, and you can already tell it looks good. It, like everything is round for one. If you like round things and smooth things, if that's your obsession, uh, this is perfect for you because, you know, it's round. Now everything is also very touch friendly, I can tell, because the spacing between everything is very spaced apart for fingers to touch it. Uh, I'm not sure how it's going to look on like a smaller screen, like a laptop size screen or um, surface devices or anything like that like surface pros because they're significantly smaller than even a 15 inch laptop uh, but so far it looks good in terms of uh, the look of it now another thing that they were saying uh, that you can do is that it says beyond updated icons and drop down menus we've included a new text tool for you to try access the new text tool by pressing the a button on the toolbar um, so you, this is the A button right there. At first I thought I had to use the keyboard to do that, but nope. Uh, so this is the text tool. You can draw and things like that. And then start filling in, you know, next windows. If I want to type in the name of the channel, I can do that. Uh, resize it to perfect. Now another thing I don't understand because I don't use paint ever is the background fill. I don't know how to use that because I don't use paint, but they have a background fill option. Now comparing to the previous text tool, if I click the A button and I drag out just like that, and I'm writing next windows just like before, uh, there is no background fill there. You can't right click, you can't do anything. So I guess that's a new feature. It says transparent or opaque background. So if I click that, what happens here? Nothing, nothing seems to happen here. You guys will obviously know a lot more about paint than I do because I don't use it. I use Photoshop and Affinity Photo. But going back to the Windows 11 updated paint, they have some updated features on there. If you want to change your font style, you can easily just do that by starting the text tool and dragging a spot. And then you can start seeing all your fonts that are available on there. Scroll through them very nicely in comparison to the old version where uh, if you wanted to change your font style, everything is just kind of in the toolbar. Everything you have to go back up and then you have to look for whatever fonts that you're looking for. So going back to the Windows 11 version, it just, the Windows 11 version, in my opinion, just, it just makes it so that way you don't have to move your eyes nearly as much. Because if I want to start typing uh, Google, uh, let me see, can this drag around? No, it cannot. So this bar does not move. It's just stationary. But you can drag around the text, move it around wherever you want, just like that. I can background fill or I can make it see-through. So now you see that it's see-through. I'm still trying to figure out how to make the background color change overall. Maybe I just have to use the paint bucket itself. Um, but there's not too much of a difference that I have seen in uh, paint other than the visual design of paint. So it, there's, not, there's not too much that I'm seeing that's too, too different with it. Overall, you got your rounded everything. Everything is round. You click this. This is the color picker. You can click it. This still looks similar to the old. So the color picker doesn't really look like it's changed too, too much. Um, let me minimize that. Scroll down just a little bit. 
and then bring back up the color picker there you go so the color picker doesn't look like it's really changed too much they just kind of changed the shape of uh of just the boxes and that's it and then they changed like the how the highlights are so they're not looking like windows 7 so much anymore obviously this is also rounded as well compared to windows 8 and windows uh 10s and you know all of those people windows 7s so again there's not it's not too much of a difference most of it still looks pretty the same uh most of it looks pretty similar to what it used to be but they have updated it so that the visual language is on par at least on surface level the visual language is on par with the past or with the current uh visual language which was win ui 3 so yeah if if the whole actually let me click away from this there you go it even crashed you saw that crash if the microsoft paint application is something that you use all the time um, it's still going to be very familiar. It's still going to be straightforward. In fact, it's going to be even more straightforward than what you're used to in the past. Obviously, it just crashed for me. Um, but overall, Microsoft Paint got an update. Not too much update. Looks like they're still giving, like, taking feedback on what to add and things like that. What they showed off in the video for the new Paint was dark mode for everything but the canvas. And also, they are saying that they're thinking about letting you center the canvas, which would be great. Um, so those are two things that I feel like are coming very soon. So stay tuned for more on the channel and uh, we'll take a look at anything else that comes my way. I'll catch you guys later.